Okay, all ready. I've checked it over, everything seems all right. I did drop the oil pressure gauge last time though, so I don't even know if it actually works anymore. We'll soon find out. The oil pressure gauge is here by the way, I don't know if you can see it on the, on the video or not. I've tried to put it so you can see it. It did go up. It's only gone to like it's got to 75, but it's sticking, I think. But there's all pressure there. That's all I'm. That's all I'm concerned about. Right. Next. Next. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to do next is is get it running. So I'm just going to put the carbon manifold on, put the plugs in, uh, and all that, and set it up, and then we'll go for a uh, start up. See you in a minute. Okay, we're all set up. Uh, let's give it a go. I've got water in it. So we'll see what happens, if anything. shaft in. It's running nice. Got a bit of an oil leak from the timing chain cover. But I suspected that was going to happen anyway. Um, I've got a spare one so I'll just change it. But apart from that, it's, uh, it's all good. That's that's why I like running it on this little jig thing. Because if there's any, if I were to put that in the car and found there's an oil leak, it's going to be much more hassle to, to do it in the car than it is just to take the rad off. And it's just easy doing it here. So I'm not all that bothered about it to be honest. 
But yeah, um, I thought he, I thought that was going to have a leak. I don't know why I just didn't put the other one in the first place. But hey ho. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little uh, video. Um, I will be bringing some more when the, the engine goes back into the car. It won't be too long now before that happens. Um, and take it out on the road and see what it's like. So there you go. Well, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.